I am Adil Kumar. In this video, we will learn how to find highest common factor. As an example, I have taken 75, 25 and 120. I am going to use three different methods to find highest common factor. The first method which I am going to do is with prime factorization. So we'll prime factorize all these numbers and then we'll see what are the common factors and from there we can get the highest common factor. So prime factors for 25 are 5 and 5, right? For 75, they are, you can divide this by 25 times 3 and then 5 can be written as 5 times 5. So 5 times 5 times 3. Now for 120, uh, we could do 12 times 10. And then this goes 4 times 3. And here we get 5 times 2. 4 could be written as 2 times 2. Now from here, uh, we can write down that uh, the prime factors for 25 are... 5 times 5. For 75, we have 5 times 5 times 3. For 120, the factors will be, I want to write first 5, 5 times 3 times 2, 2 and 2, right? Now, out of these factors, let's list what are the common factors for all three of them. Well, the only common factor for all three of them is 5. And therefore, in this case, we have HCF equals to 5. Clear? So, that is one way of doing it. Now, the second method could be that we list all the factors. Correct? So, now, method number 2 will be uh, list factors. So that was, uh, this is our first method, right? Third method will be long division, which I'm going to take. So if I list all the factors of uh, 25, in that case, the factors of 25 was 1, 1 times 25, and then we have 5 times 5. As far as 75 is concerned, we have 1 times 75, right? We can write this as 5 times uh, 5 times 1 and 3, uh, 15. And then we can write this as uh, 25 times 3. Or we can say 3 times 25, right? I missed 3 first. Okay. So you have to write all the factors. Similarly, for 120, you could write down the factors. One, There are many factors with 120, so let me have more space here, right? So we have 2 times uh, 60, 3 times 40, 4 times uh, 30, 5 times, 5 times 2 is 10, and then uh, 20 is 24. And then we have 6 times 20, okay. And then we can have, uh, uh, we can divide by 8 also. Let me write more factors here. 8 times, if I divide by 8, 8 times 1 is 8 and 40 gives you 15, okay. 10 times 12, right. So 10 and 12 are also the factors. So these are all the factors of 120. Now, if you compare which are common in all of them, then the only answer which you get is, is 5. So after listing all the factors, you can clearly see your solution. Perfect. Now, this is slightly difficult since for a big number, you have to list so many factors, right? which can be tedious. 
Now here is the method which is the long division method. So let us see how to use long division to find common factor and the highest common factor, right. So in this method, we could do with first, we need to divide, right, one number by the other. So here, if I, these two, let me take these two first. Since we know 25 is a factor of 75, so let me just begin with this. So if I divide by 25, it's 3 times is 75, right? So between 25 and 75, 25 is HCF, right? So now, since we have 25 as our HCF, right? So 25 is HCF of 25 and 75. Now, we will see what happens when we take 25 and 120, right? So now we'll do this long division with 120 and 25. So 4 times is 100. We're left with 20, right? Let's divide 20 into 25. So when you do, 1 time is 20, correct? And you're left with 5. And we go divide 5 into 20, it goes 4 times, right? And so clearly, the highest common factor is 5, right? So therefore, we get highest common factor 5 between 25, 75, and 120. Is that clear? So this process of long division helps you to find the highest common factor by repeated division as shown here. Perfect. So that is the process. You divide by the divisor, whatever is the remainder. Use that remainder to divide the divisor. And follow this process till you get 0 as your remainder. Now, with 5, 0 was the remainder and therefore, 5 is your HCF. Is that clear to you? So that is how we use this long division method to find the highest common factor. I hope the concept is absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.